So guys, it's December, December 6th to be exact, Sunday, uh, in case you wanted to know the exact day that I'm doing this. But I left you the view of the window here, and it's, you can't really see anything. But yesterday it snowed for the first time in the 09-010 winter season here. Um, so I left it, it looked really nice with a little bit of snow, but it got a little bit dark out, and now you can't really see it. So I'm sorry, I apologize, but you can see it's a little bit sideways, tipped that way more than you see usually. So what the heck. Anyways, uh, this review, if you didn't read the title, I always start like that. I am sick of saying that. Sorry, again, I did it again. But anyway, it's about fighting, the movie. The movie fighting. Um, that's the name of the movie. No more. It's kind of confusing. Uh, it, this didn't, I don't think it had too big of a hype. I think it did have some commercials. I saw some commercials for it. I think it came out uh, this summer or last summer. I'm not completely sure. It might have been last summer, actually, or maybe the beginning of 2009. Oh, yeah, it was 2009. So it might have been the beginning of this summer, summer of 2009. Yeah, I think it was before I went to Hawaii or right when I get back. I got back. Anyway, you can read what that about that in the description about more details and such. But I don't do a lot of movie reviews, so here's going to be this one. Uh, I don't really have a set format like video games. I kind of know what points to talk about. So this is kind of just going to be a little bit of just trying to feel my way through it and uh, try and categorize it a little bit, at least to keep it a little bit of an organized review. Um, so first of all, the movie, what's it about? Uh, it's about this dude that lives in New York City. He's kind of, he, he's one of the street guys. He sells stuff off the street. Um, uh, they're like, you know, the knockoff things. Trying to make himself some money. Uh, he starts off, it's a little bit confusing. It's hard to follow. I'm not sure if it was hard to follow for me the whole time. Uh, just in my case, because I watched it over a period of like four or five hours. And even though it's like a two hour long movie, not even. Um, so I kind of like watched it in bits and pieces here and there. But um, the overall storyline, basically, he's selling that stuff. He gets involved with another guy who runs fights. He gets people together for fights, like underground fights kind of thing. And he gets involved with it, starts fighting, um, and starts winning. Obviously, he wins and wins and wins and wins and wins and wins. And, wins, and then he goes and drives off with his new friend that got him the fights and his girl that he's wanted forever. So pretty much that's how all movies go. Um, I was kind of disappointed with that ending that it was kind of like that. I thought the ending was going to be different. But that's how it ended up. A little bit of a spoiler. Sorry. I won't go into the big details, but there was a big, not really that big, but there was a, a uh, like a turn at the end. That some, you really didn't expect that. I didn't expect it. Um, so that was good. At least they changed it up a little bit. Uh, as far as the storyline, it was pretty weak. I think, uh, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to it. Basically, he wants to get revenge on this dude after he starts fighting and he has had problems with his dad and this other kid on the wrestling team in high school or wrestling something. Yeah, I think it was wrestling team. And then they started, they got in a fight and he hit his dad and his dad's mad at him now. And uh, so he wants to beat this other kid now and then he gets a fight with this other guy. Gets, it, gets a fight scheduled for him and uh, then, of course, proceeds to win, as always happens. Uh, but there's a little bit of drama around it, that kind of thing. As far as language and rating-wise, if for you guys that are concerned about that, um, it wasn't too bad. Actually, I thought it was going to be a lot worse because, you know, it's in the city and fighting and that kind of thing, uh, underground things. But um, it was, they did curse quite a few times, uh, and... As far as like sexual content, there was pretty much only one scene, actually. I mean, there's like cl the club scenes; they're not really that bad either. Um, there's not really anything too drastic there that you need to really be concerned about. I, I was surprised about that actually, um, but yeah. Anyway, back to the part of it. So that's not that bad. As far as the storyline, I went over the overall graphics and and uh not graphics but like you know how how well it was filmed the shot camera angles and different what the effort put into the movie i think they did a good job uh for a fighting movie it was pretty good it's kind of hard some of the camera angles were kind of really hard because they were throwing some pretty fast punches and they want to change the angle so they don't actually punch the other person but um it, it's kind of like just jumpy all over like camera here 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 all over the place uh, you can follow it though, it's not that bad. Um, the fights 
I was surprised. Lasted a little bit longer than I expected. Like usually they give you some highlights, or they're like way overdone, like Rocky movies. Um, I mean, no offense to you Rocky fans, but I just those fights just take forever. I mean, they, they that's how long real fights are. You know, three five minute rounds. I mean, five three minute rounds usually for a championship round or whatever belt title round. Nevertheless, it was good. One problem I did have was the way, like, the, okay, these guys are fighting. No equipment, no nothing, no gloves. This dude's knuckles are fine. Knuckles, they did have a little bit of bruising in one or two scenes, I think. That's it, though, okay? Uh, as far as the facial, like, he got beat up on the last fight really bad. The next day, he was pretty much just, like, you know, a little bit of discoloration here. He didn't have any, like, big bruises. He was all cut up from the day, the before time, I mean, it was pretty ridiculous. They they had him healed too quickly. Um, I mean, maybe it wasn't actually some of them were the next day. Some of them were a couple weeks later or a couple days later. Um, but this whole story basically takes place within a month, the whole movie, um, or shorter than that. Not even a whole month. Uh, actually, yeah, it's probably about two weeks, maybe three. But just in case you wondered, so it's kind of sh not really too spread out. So it can go into more detail of stuff. Um, other than that, uh, there wasn't anything else that I was really too concerned about as far as, like, uh, um, let's, like, like, any mistakes or anything, that kind of thing. I didn't catch any. Maybe there were. Again, I watched in parts, so I kind of didn't really get it full from start to finish. But I got the gist of it. It was a good movie. I mean, I'm a big UFC fan. Uh, I like that kind of thing. Uh, I wanted to see this before and just finally got around to getting it now. And uh, I do recommend it as far as buying it. Um, I mean, if it's 10 bucks, 12 bucks, go for it. I saw it on Blu-ray, so, I mean, the quality was good. I thought it was it was pretty good. At some point, though, I wasn't so sure it was Blu-ray because they didn't really have... I mean, I know it was Blu-ray, but I wasn't so sure that they did a great job because they have, like, the camera, and it goes out of focus sometimes. Uh, and it's, like, not... You can't see the crispness. But then other scenes, it's like, wow, that's a really nice shot. Um, really detailed, really crisp. Um, so whatever, um, if you want to rent it, if you can find it somewhere, it's it's definitely worth a rent. It's worth seeing once. As far as seeing it more times, I might watch it here and there once again, uh, but it kind of ruins it, this kind of movie. I mean, kind of watch it again and again, you already know what's going to happen. Uh, the bit, one big twist at the end, you already know, so it's not really a big deal. You can just kind of appreciate the how well done the movie was but it wasn't like this wow this movie's amazing uh, but it, they did a good job other than that I think it's good if you're if you're definitely if you're a, any a fan of any kind of fighting wrestling jiu-jitsu martial arts karate I guess is the same kind whatever um, I'd say definitely get the movie um, you're gonna be able to see stuff. I mean, he's really a noob fighter in the beginning, uh, like really bad. Like I'm like, wow, there's an opportunity right there. Just go get him, get him, jump on him, you know, get him in the rear naked choke or whatever. But then he did. He learned that. That was his one move. He learned it. And he tried it like three times on each fight. So, but anyway, and then he got out of it too, which is ridiculous because this other dude was a wrestler. No, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm sorry. But if you're if you're a fan of fighting and you know moves and stuff from watching it you're going to be kind of disappointed in the fighting and his fighting because some of it's pretty fake. Um, but other than that, good movie, worth the rent. If you're going to buy it, go for it, I'd say. If it's there, just pick it up. If it's under 20 bucks, why not? It's not that expensive. So, a good movie, good time, good, 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 good. Uh, other than that, that's it. Check out the full written review in the description, which would be that direction, I think. I always freaking do that. Whatever. I hate when people do that. You know, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm done. That's it. Check it out in the description. Check out the website. Subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. Pass stuff along. Video response if you'd like. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.